on my way to the subway one day, I saw Ariel. She was dressed very nicely. And I turned to one of the producers, Sebastian Bear McLaren, and I said to him, wow, that girl's unbelievably beautiful. And he said, all right, go talk to her. Let's get her in the movie. Because um, we were looking for one of these kind of assistants who works in the showroom. And uh, you know, a lot of people who work in the diamond district are either like Russian, like, almost like mail order Russian types, or you know, family members, or, or even some strange you know, girlfriends of the, of the owner. So I went up to her and I started talking after much persuasion from Sebastian. And he uh, um, said, hey, uh, we're doing a movie. And the diamond was very nervous because it's a very romantic gesture to ask someone to be in a movie, and in a movie. And I said, hey, um, love to find a role for you in this movie that we're doing in the Diamond District. And she said, oh, I've always kind of thought about acting. I was expecting Russian, and she had this Jersey accent. And um, she uh, said, okay, we exchange numbers. And uh, I said, all right, I'll meet you, and we'll talk more about it, we'll find a role. <clears throat> I met up with her a week later, and she was, I turned the corner in my car. Um, at first I said, let's meet in Chinatown. Where do you live? She goes, oh, Chinatown. I said, oh, I used to live in Chinatown. Where? She said, oh, Essex Street. I said, oh, which, which street, which, what, what's your address? She goes, ah, uh, she's like, guess the number. And I was like, oh, okay, strange. Pull up, she's dressed completely differently, um, much more like a street kid, um, which was a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting it. I was dressed very nicely, dressed to impress. I had a lot of jewelry on. I thought she was a diamond industry girl. And uh, I, she was nodding out a little bit, so I was like, all right, this is strange. She's chunky, maybe, I'm not sure. And um, sat down, we had dinner, and halfway, she kept talking to me about Ilya this, Ilya that, as if I knew him. Very cold like relationship. And uh, halfway through the dinner, she said, Hey, Josh, I should admit something to you. You're homeless. I said, All right. You're homeless, as in you have no home, nowhere to go. She goes, like, I got nothing, no family. I, I live in the street, I wash my hair in the public bathroom, and then go up to the Diamond District where I apprentice. I said, All right. Um, let's keep talking. I don't know really what role you have yet, and I was working with her to try to find her jobs, because it wasn't paying the diamond issue job. Uh, I got her a job with Richard Kern, who was the photographer doing the music video. He loved her, and he said, she's a star, and I said, I know, you're telling me. And um, I got her a job, this was about a month and a half, two months after I met her, meeting with her and talking with her about her life, and a uh, high-paying job in the music video, and um, she didn't show up. Her phone got disconnected. Richard called me, he said, what's up? I said, I don't know. And uh, didn't hear from her for weeks, I thought the worst. And then I got a phone call from a random number. And he said, hey, Josh, it's Aaron. I said, Aaron, what the fuck happened, man? I got you this job. I thought you were responsible. You told me you were responsible. I thought you were ambitious, you know? And she said, no, I'll tell you all about it. Can we meet up? I just got out of the hospital. I said, all right. Met up with her. She had a bandage on her left arm. She said, I tried to kill myself. Ilya made me do it. And I said, well, I hope Ilya's not in the picture anymore. She says, yeah, screw me, you ripped up all my drawings. And um, that, and then I, I remember going to LA the next, like the next week, and uh, trying to do this last push for money for this really tough project that was over budgeted and, you know, uh, Hollywood actors and stuff like that. And um, an a, a, a radical thinking friend in LA said to me, I showed him the picture, he said, what are you doing, man? You gotta make that. And um, I said, you're right. Went back and then I started to commission Ari to write about her life. And these pages were coming in fast. She could write faster than I could read. Doesn't say much, I'm a slow reader, but you know, she, she blew me away with these writings that were so immediate and so cinematic. And, um, yeah, it amounted to over 160 pages, and then, you know, I was convinced Benny and, and Ronnie, um, 